Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Frankie B, and I'm in the art flow. This time around, let's see. I got a couple of sketch cards, commissions that I'm catching up on. Let me see if I can pull that over a little bit. Got my uh, phone angled just right. And then I can kind of look over and I can kind of manipulate it a little better. But anyway, yeah, um, I had a uh, big reveal uh, yesterday. That would have been the uh, February 16th where I revealed the concept art that I had done for uh, Mecha Cryptid, um, uh, which is sort of like uh, the, this, this pseudo nemesis of uh, King Cryptid, which was created by uh, Peter Semetti of Alternate Comics. So anyway, th the reason why I created Mecha Cryptid was because... Uh, of this right here actually this is what started off this is all based on the um actually no i gotta fix this uh, this is all based on the auction that uh that happened um last saturday which would have been the 12th these are a little even huh interesting um so what happened was the auction happened and um and then uh, uh someone had uh, won a ton of stuff, a bunch of stuff for me. But one of the things that they won was this, actually a commission, which is gonna be full color, um, which would feature, um, you know, whatever, some characters, I left you know, left it up to them. But the idea was posed that, um, should it be something that is, uh, that would showcase uh, King, King Cryptic, say versus, uh, you know, something like a mecha nemesis, a robotic nemesis, excuse me. So what happened was, um, I think Pete might have put that idea out there in the wind. And the person who won um, said, yeah. You know, they sent me a notification and said, yeah, could you do that? And and that's perfect. I mean, I always love it when people do stuff that's more my will, my will house, you know. <laughs> it just it just makes much more like, you know, really fun and stuff like that. So this is, um, because of that, I had to come up with a design of um, Mecha Cryptid. And so I had to first do my uh, character sheet or concept sheet so that I can have something to work from. And then now I'm in the stages of trying to uh, to do the artwork here. Um, this is where it gets kind of iffy because again, this is gonna be full color. And because of the way the alternative cards are, I had to use uh, some Presto. This is what I use, Presto. And uh, oh yeah, I probably did it too fast. So you guys can see Presto. There you go, Jumbo Crushing Pen. And as you can see, it's, it's definitely on here. So I gotta try to find a way um, in which um, I'm probably gonna try to do a lot of inking on this. And then um, with the colors, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be iffy. But I'm, you know, uh, you know, I'm a pro, so I'm gonna see if I can try to make this stuff work. So with that said, um, this, is, this will be a, um, like all my other videos, a mashup video. Whereas uh, I'm just chatting up a little bit. And then, you know, we're gonna transition over to um, Hyperlapse where it speeds up and there's music and stuff like that. Um, here. Here's the other two cards. Well, this one was for the Alterna Auction. Now, here's the other two that I'm going to be working on as well. Let me put that down. Um, on the Alterna Winter campaign that they had, um, I was one of the um, artists that was on a reward tier. And so I guess I have um, four sketch cards that were chosen um, for me to, uh, that I was commissioned to do. And one of them is uh, King Cryptid. But the other one was, uh, let me get his name, Senator Wrights, I believe. From the, the character is from is from uh, Downcast, so I kind of you know uh, Clint Stoker was really nice and sending me some some reference for the character, and then I just kind of just you know for me when I think of senators and politicians and stuff, I always feel like they're great their greatest powers at the uh, at the podium, <laughs> the, the, you know, and then he's kind of got these zombies and stuff. The difference with this one right here was that the. Uh, um, the person actually contacted me and um, paid a little extra because they want Lectratone on this on this piece. And so I'm going to think I'm probably going to put on a suit and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so they wanted some Lectratone, which is when I'm cutting and, and laying down and stuff like that. Um, definitely a, a, a uh, challenging process, but, you know, they paid a little extra to have it, so it's going to get done. So there you go. These are the cards that I'll, I'll be working on. So here we go. Let's go for the big one right here. So I'm gonna see if I can do some colored pens. I got my stat Statlers, Statlers. I cannot pronounce them right. What's it, Statlers? And these are Statler color. They're the tri Triplus Fine Liners. Nice dry pens. Now the scenario here again is um, just like when I always tell people is that if you're drawing giant creatures, monsters, robots, whatever, 
you should always try to um, be conscious of scale just to have something maybe um, just to give a sense of how big these characters are. Because in this scenario, if I if I not added this little helicopter, and I'm, I'm known for that, I, I put my helicopters in. <laughs> um, that's just the old, like from Showa era, you know, Godzilla's and stuff, you always saw a helicopter, which was great. It was a great um, device to use. Uh, it just helps. It just helps to be able to lay things out uh, so that you can see a size comparison, you know, so you know that regardless of what these guys are bigger than that helicopter. All right, with that said, here we go. The scenario is that um, is that uh, King Cryptid is engaged in a battle with uh, Mecha Cryptid, and uh, Mecha Cryptid has shoulder mounted, uh, uh, I guess, rocket launcher, probably. I'll probably what you call them. I like to always sometimes call them grenade launchers, but but they but they're like housing his shoulders. And my view on this character, if, if he does see any life or whatever, I would consider him maybe version one. Like he's the first version of possible other versions. Like, you know, once once this scenario happens and, and you know, and and most likely, let's just say it, I think that um, King Cryptus might beat the crap out of him. Although I would love to find out more about King Cryptus' abilities. You know, he has the ability to, I think Pete said he can mimic his, 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 his um, cape can. But it'd be nice to see what other stuff like he can, uh, if he can do any other stuff. But, but at this point, it's just really um, he's probably hard in his cape as a shield, and he's kind of blocking his blast. I'm assuming that he's super strong, you know. And we'll just go from there. These are great. I, I love using um, the uh, the triplets or the state stateless just because it's just these uh, colored pens. They, they just add a nice bold kind of strong. Uh, color color down so they just sort of lays it so I don't have to really think about it once I really start what I may do is I'll color the tips of these too so that they kind of if they if he was shot them they would sort of be like sort of blinking off and on All right, so he's, he's shooting multiple of these off so at this point I would say that that's probably his only major offensive weapon um, there's also uh, the well, I didn't show it in this, in this version, but um, he has like a, um, the, uh, what is it called? The Mothroid, which would be his flying wing that enabled him to fly. But maybe that'll come in a different one, but just, just for this, this card right here, um, it's just gonna have to, cause it's just, as you can see, I, it, I have a lot of, it's very limited room in this. And to get so much information, especially with these missiles and stuff flying around, it's just, it's really tough. Right, so he has one right here. You got a little bit there. And what you do is you blast. Now, see, this is where it's going to get tricky, as you can see, because because I had to put the the um, the uh, use use the whiteout and stuff. Uh, it just it just looks so weird. So I'm really really nervous because I don't know how it's going to react and. I know it's going to definitely affect how I color everything, but I think I can kind of work around it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's holding pretty good on it. So, this, it, you know what it is? It comes down to that whole thing as being an artist where you're just like, oh man. You know, I just want to, you, you want to feel like you're just giving like the best that you can. So I'm doing a couple of blasts. Some of these blasts are breaking out of frame, going into the, the, uh, the uh, alternate logo there, pretty cool. All right, so there you go. Start that off, so that's round one. And then uh, let's see, what do we got here? I think with the, uh, I think I'm gonna use one of these. The cool thing about these, I have a ton of these pens too. I have like another like 72 of these, these kind of colored pens. It's funny, cause I wasn't using them a lot and then I don't know if it was last year or the year before. I just started. It just dawned on me to maybe try them out. All right, that's not good. I see not. No, that is good. That works. Happy. We'll call it what Bob Ross calls it. Happy little accident. Because when you think about um, the rotors and stuff like that, you kind of. I don't think there's any real super perfect way to really do a rotor in, in that in, in movement. You know. 
Okay. All right, so we're at the 10 minute mark. And so, um, yeah, so again, uh, let me maybe do a quick little flip over so you can see. So this is how the back of it looks. And and mind you, it's not gonna be this clean once I start putting all that color in there. It's gonna bleed through. I, I'm still debating on whether or not I'm gonna do the, uh, the gloss effect over it. I don't know how these might take it. Um, and, and so I don't want to take a chance because I know this is a this is a commission piece. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. So I'll play it by ear. But anyway, um, as always, I'd like to just thank you for just coming on by, hanging out. Um, I'm actually gonna be, uh, oh, was it later, 5 p.m. Eastern gonna be on um, Come Get Some, which is Skits Comics. Um, I think it's a Black History Month thing that, that she's doing. Not sure, but I'm gonna be on that anyway for 5 p.m. Eastern, just to chat up and stuff, and um, and 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 hopefully um, folks can. But I know by the time I post this, it's gonna be like <laughs> it's over. <laughs> but anyway, um, but I will have a video which will 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 be what you know that's more designated for what that's gonna be happening later on. So with that said, thank you so much for coming in and, and hanging out with me, and um, as always, keep that art flowing.